Hi guys, I'm actually back with another video. Um, hopefully I'm gonna upload this pretty darn quickly because I'm so rubbish and I don't upload videos as much anymore, but I'm here. Um, I was actually tagged to do this by uh, Vanessa from Vad is Rad, uh, so thank you so much. And there's my really grateful face. Thank you so much for tagging me to do this. I'm so excited. Um, the products I chose were basically like um, ones I've been using really, really regularly at the moment. And I am basically going to get started. And I'm basically a thicko. And I didn't know the colours of the rainbow in the correct order. So I then had to redo all of my products because I basically like added products in that I didn't really like need. So... I am going to start this tag with red. I've actually got a list of the colours in order because I really am too stupid to know which colour order they go in. So the red product I have to show you is this amazing body butter from the body shop. Um, it's basically the strawberry one and it's the one where I get through like loads and loads of tubs every month because it just basically stays in my bag and I absolutely love it. And um, basically you smell really edible when you put this all over your body. And I, I like to use it um, on my hands as well um, because my hands get really, really, really dry at work. Um, I know it's a little bit sticky, but I need a really good hand thing. And I like to like, after I've had a shower and stuff, I like to put it like on my body because it's just so yummy. Um, so this is my product for red because obviously the packaging is clearly red and... It's amazing and I love it and yeah, basically you should go out and get it because it's so good. I've got like the larger size up there but that I use at home for like showers and this one I use um, at work and it kind of stays in my bag. Um, it doesn't mean to say like I lather myself with this stuff at work but I use it on my hands because it's really nice and thick. Um, so that is my red product. Um, the next colour in the rainbow I think is going to be the orange one. Uh, this is a product I've never shown before, but I really do love it, and I started to use it last year when I went on holiday, and this is definitely a holiday product, or a product that you should use if you've got frizzy hair and it gets a little bit humid. Um, it's basically this, and it's the Mark Hill Holiday Hair Stay Straight Shaping Polish, and it's like... You can see that I've, well, you probably can't see, but I've used like half of the product. And it's like a, like a sticky, gluey type thing. And after I've had a shower and I've washed my hair and I've straightened it and I'm on holiday, it's to stop the frizz on my hair. So if I want my hair to stay straight and like tame all the flyaway stuff, then this is a really, really good product to use just to run through the ends. I wouldn't advise putting it near the roots because it does look a bit greasy if you do apply it because I've tried that before. Um, but I tend to just literally run it through the ends and if I've got any flyaway bits at the top then I'll just use it to tame it. But I promise you, this and um, I'm going to show you even though I said I wouldn't show other stuff. It comes with like an after sun conditioner and this which you use when your hair's dry but it also comes with a spray as well um, which I've also got but I think I lent it to my mum when she went away so you can basically use the spray during the day when you're out I use this for when I've just washed my hair and I've straightened it and then I use this as like an after sun general conditioner when I'm on holiday because it's for like humid weather and I promise in combination with all those put together it really does work and it's Mark Hill and I just got it in boots so that is my top product for the month um yellow I basically I'm loving this all the time I think it's actually finished but I just was in denial about it um, my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express um, mascara I've definitely been using this regularly as well as another product which I'm not allowed to show you because it's not the right colour but it's that it's my Lancome Hypnose which I'm absolutely obsessed with but these two I've been intertwining between and I absolutely love the reason I love this is because of the wand like it's just a really good shape to like get in there get in there with all your lashes um really really like it for every every day um and if i want a little bit of extra clumpy look to my lashes then i'll just go over it with the volume express i just made that i go over it with the lancome hypnose but for every day and for work this is really really good but i think it's going to be my next empties product because it's i think i'm pretty sure it's like finished um 
My next product is green and I started using a new primer because I finished my Stila One Step Corrector and to be honest I couldn't justify getting another one. So I bought some Clinique stuff ages ago when I bought my One Step thing. I got managed to like get told to buy like this city block thing. Um, so it's got SPF and it's got like a slight little tint to it but I find it really really good and you know I was thinking about sun protection generally in the UK and the thing is I don't think we protect our faces from the sun in the UK because we don't get that much sun but we're still exposed to UV and I think I still think it's really important to protect your skin so I've been using the Clinique um, SPF City Blocker oil free daily face protector it does smell a bit funky but it's fine like it's okay it's okay if it smells a bit funky but I think that was the only thing that stopped me using it at the beginning because the Stila One Step doesn't smell and this one does it's got a very very slight tint to it but if it I use it as a primer and then as like an SPF as well um as well as my moisturizer so I kind of mix it in with my moisturizer but that is one of the newer products I'm beginning to use at the moment so I didn't buy this recently I've had it for ages but I was waiting to finish up my Clinique my Stila One Step and then I was going to use this I'm also using another primer at the moment I think it's totally breaking me out so I've stopped using it but I will talk about that in another video um, so that is my green product um, my blue product is Oh my goodness, I've lost my violet one. I've lost, one second everyone, I've lost my violet one. Violet, violet, violet one. Okay, found it, found it, found it, found it. Okay, so that's my blue product and I'm absolutely loving this new Simples Essential Smooth Soothing Vitamin and Rich Toner. Uh, no perfume, no alcohol, no colorant, and suitable for sensitive skin. It's by Garnier and it's a toner. Um, basically, I use my Clinique One Step Clinique one step three step system um, toner in the evening when I really need it and then I use this one during the day because it doesn't sting and you know it just feels really nice and tingly and I really really like it so this is one of my new like I'm probably halfway through it um, I like to, as you know, I like to change up my toners. Like, I generally never use the same toner, like, twice in a row. So I don't want my skin to kind of get used to these things. And I like to try, like trying out different stuff. So at the moment, this is the toner I'm using. And I really, really like it. And, um, yeah, it's going really well so far. Um, the next one is Indigo. And from what I know, Indigo is like a dark bluey purple and this is not actually a beauty product at all but it's something I've been obsessed with since about May so ever since my hay fever started and I haven't been able to breathe properly I've been using Vicks Vapor Rub and um, I'm going on the fact that it's like an indigo colour because from what I know indigo is like a purpley dark blue um, and that kind of looks exactly like it to me so I've been absolutely obsessed with this I take it with me everywhere I go I lather it on myself before I go to sleep because it's the only stuff that basically gives me a really really good night's sleep and um, I do kind of even use it when I'm at work and stuff and I know patients are probably like oh she smells like infected but I don't really care because like it really works it helps me breathe it helps me get a good night's sleep and I actually think this is one of the best products in the entire world like honestly I'm using it all the time um, I know it's really good for like adults and babies and stuff if you've got cold and you can't breathe but in hay fever season everything is bunged up like you probably can't hear it right now but I am completely bunged up but I've got like loads of this like lathered all around my face so um, basically love this stuff and um, will always have this in my bag wherever I go um, Violet, I kind of um, thought violet in my head was like a pinky purpley sort of colour. So for violet, I've actually got um, my Clean and Clear Advanced Quick Treatment Spot Gel. Um, reduces redness in up to four hours. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, it doesn't smell horrible. It doesn't leave like a sticky film on your face. Um, it just dries up as a clear gel. And generally, I notice that this is really, really good to use underneath your makeup. Like... 
I use more like severe stuff before I go to bed like I use tea tree and stuff before I go to bed because that smells quite strong and I don't want to use that during the day but this is amazing for like using during the day when you want to put something under your makeup and also it works really well on top of makeup as well so if you've got a bit of a pimple and you just want something to calm it down um, this is really really good to use on top of your makeup if you just want to dab it on during the day and then kind of let it air dry you can actually wear this on underneath or on top of your makeup um, it's really really near the end because I know that I've had this for quite a long time and like I said on the back it says apply the invisible gel directly on to the spot suitable to use under and over makeup whenever needed and so I end up reapplying this over the day because I won't not cover up a spot if I've got I won't cover it I will cover it up with makeup because I have to during the day and it doesn't look nice when it's like angry and red but I will still put this over the top of my makeup and that is one of the reasons I really 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 like this product so definitely if you're one of these people that's severely suffering with like red angry spots then I would say use this because when I'm on my period and it's that time of month I definitely get the big hard red angry bastards so basically this this is the chisel you have to use this stuff um and i think the last one of the last things is um pink so at the moment again i don't know if i've shown this in a video but i'm like totally obsessed with my chubby stick um the color is super strawberry i can't smell anything so i don't know if it smells i'm pretty sure it doesn't smell um but i've been like really really loving this this is the second one i've got i've got the one that's called something melon melon meringe melon something i don't know i've got a melon one as well which is quite a good nude for me because it's not it's not like a bright color it's kind of like a muted orange type of color with a bit of gloss but this i'm not wearing at the moment i'm actually using my um sleek pout polish at the moment but this is my chubby stick that i'm absolutely loving at the moment it looks really lovely generally during the day you don't need a mirror to apply it because it's not too pigmented but it leaves a really nice sheer bit of color on the lips and is a really nice lip balm at the same time and as you know during the day i like using tinted lip balms i don't use lipstick during the day because my lips just don't like the crustiness and my lips are just really nasty at the moment um with my multicolored one i basically have lost some of the products that go into this thing but when i was um my mum and dad went on holiday and they bought me this like lip smacker coca-cola thing and inside it it had like all these colored lip balms um there was an orange fanta which i think is at work somewhere and they also had like a white one, like a whitey blue one, which was the vanilla Coke, which I actually gave to my best friend. Um, so I let her pick from all of these and she took the vanilla Coke one. And then I started using the Fanta one because the Fanta one is just so yummy. But I'm not entirely sure where it is at the moment. And this is like an, a strawberry Fanta one, which is like my favourite one at the moment. So that, if you imagine all the stuff is there... That is my multicoloured thing because I'm absolutely loving... Basically, I'm obsessed with lip balms. Like, I've just had this obsession with lip balms ever since forever. And if you watch my videos from the beginning, you will know that I did a Project x Pan once and I got rid of, like, six lip balms. So if I had, like, 25 lip balms on the go at the same time and then my mum saw this and now I've basically got an extra... An extra five to get through, obviously not including the one I gave to my friend, but I've got all of these, and then I've got my chubby sticks, and then I've got like all of these lip balms, and these are just the ones I can see near me. Um, but loads and loads of lip balms to get through. So that is my colours of the rainbow tag. Um, I'm going to link a couple of people below that I'm going to tag to do this, but I just want to say thank you so much if you stay till the end of this video, and thank you Vanessa for tagging me, and I will see you guys in the next video.